everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. In this short video, I'm going to explain what the significance of the ACE2 receptor and the coronavirus and how that's affecting the lungs. Now, the coronavirus is a respiratory infection caused by a novel coronavirus called SARS-CoV-2. And the symptoms are fever, cough, but the main thing is it's shortness of breath. And this is more gradual. It will take anywhere from two to 14 days for the symptoms to gradually get worse and worse and worse. And the main thing about the coronavirus is that the shortness of breath. Now, why does that happen? So you have this virus, okay? Why is it called the coronavirus? Well, because they have these projections, much like the sun, much like the sun rays or a crown, okay? That on the tip of these projections, they have an S protein. An S protein, so here's the cell, okay? You have an S protein that docks. Now we have the, cell, the, lung, the lung cell here, and the lung cell has a receptor on it called the ACE2 receptor. And so this virus docks, has an S protein, it docks at the ACE2 receptor, and the receptor has a serine protease, which allows the coronavirus to get into the cell and have its messenger RNA replicate inside the cell, inside the host cell. And it just replicates, 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 and gets, big, gets worse and worse. And it's all due to the fact of this ACE2 receptor. Now, what is the significance of the ACE2 receptor? Because you, you may have heard about ACE inhibitors from blood pressure medication. So an ACE2 receptor, it's the angiotensin converting enzyme 2. It's a protein that sits across the cell membrane in many tissues, including the lungs. And the significance, it helps reduce the blood pressure by converting angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. Okay, now when we talk about blood pressure, okay, you have angiotensinogen, which is produced in the liver, and it's converted in the kidneys by renin to angiotensin 1. And then once it gets to, through the kidneys, it goes through the lungs, it gets converted to angiotensin 2 by the angiotensin converting enzyme 2. Hence, this is where the name is, ACE2, re ACE2 receptor. Now, what it is meaning is that the ACE2 receptor is a doorway for the coronavirus. Why is that so important? Because the coronavirus, COVID-19, this virus, uses the ACE2 receptor to invade the host cell, making this protein a target. So this is why COVID-19 attacks the lungs, and when it attacks the lungs, it will cause a cascade. Now, the question is, who's at risk? Well, the thing is, the more ACE2 receptors you have on the cells, the greater your risk. Now, who does that target? You hear in the news, there are a lot of people that it may target. One, the elderly. Also, diabetics. People who have uncontrolled insulin, chronic respiratory conditions. Why? Because those people have more ACE2 receptors around the cell. So remember, the more ACE2 receptors you have around your cell, that's a doorway for the coronavirus to get in and infect the cell. And then you have this whole immune response. Okay? Insulin resistance. People who are toe-tapping, uh, not the type 2 diabetic, but more insulin resistant, people who are insulin resistant, they're more susceptible, they're more susceptible to viral, viral infections anyways because people who are insulin resistant are constantly attacking their immune system. People who are hypertension. Hypertensive, again, people who have hypertension, okay, they're more, they're more susceptible for the COVID because of the receptors. Now, again, remember, so just because you have these receptors, that, do, that does not mean that you're going to get the COVID, okay? Because the people who have lower levels of ACE2 expression, it's the expression. You may have all these receptors, but if your expression is lower, you're less susceptible. Okay, so this is just an overview of the ACE2 receptor and the coronavirus, and basically try, try to keep yourself healthy. Main goal, as always, is to, yes, wash your hands daily, but also do what you can to boost your immune system. Vitamin D3, selenium, zinc, vitamin C, okay, vegetables, wash your hands. Again, anything that you have to do to boost your immune system is going to lower 
the effect of the coronavirus that could have on your system. I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.